Let's talk about, you, you touched on it, but I think there's there's three, and I want to make sure, the, the tailings dam, the fiber wrap, and I think there's a third. Um, I'll let you lay it out, rather than me trying to lay it out. That's usually how it goes better. So could you lay out a couple of the, let's start with the process monitoring. You touched on it a little bit, but can you just unpack it a little bit more, um, just from, from in, within working within their operations? You already touched on some of the installation parts and that, um, but could you just add a little bit more to that process monitoring side? Sure, and the process monitoring side, um, it's fiber wrap. It's a technology quite unique to Selexa. Selexa actually has been very good at the, the advantages over other, you know, fiber providers, sensing providers. Um, there's quite a few patents. As as Gard mentioned, it's always the focus on the best performance. Uh, so with fiber wrap, it's one of those applications. There is uh, a few other uh, flow measurement technologies uh, in the market. But uh, what Selexa is offering is quite unique to Selexa with distributed fiber optic sensing. So you basically take that one core of fiber for 10 kilometers. You go across your plant from the, uh, uh, you know, hydrocyclones to, to flotation cells to the thickener area. And the areas, the pipes, you want to monitor the flow in real time. You just wrap uh, fiber around it then communication fiber to the next point, then you wrap fiber. So you can have about 20, 25 measurement zones with that one single fiber cable. Then the fiber gets connected to the interrogator, that DAS, IDAS unit um, in a control room kilometers away. And then the system in real time gives you the flow, um, the speed of the flow within each pipe uh, of those two 20 zones or so. In real time, you can uh, remote into the system, you can get the output integrated with your data, and it's highly accurate. So as I mentioned with Anglo American, we've had multiple installations and it's just been a lot of learning for us as well. And um, it came up to, you know, there's a lot of areas we can develop. So. Uh, our CEO was quite uh, strategic to say, these are the areas we want to develop now. And after about four or five years that we have really developed those um, to a commercial stage, we are now working to do further development of measuring other parameters with, uh, with other than the flow of, um, of the fluid. And so the advantages of this system is that I mentioned, so you don't need any power, it's just fiber cable. You don't need any mechanical part, any data communication infrastructure at the plant. It just the cable does all the work, um, and then it's non-intrusive. You can retrofit um, to any existing pipes, uh, small pipes. We've installed it on pipes as uh, as large as 50 inches. Um, so it's and any kind of material, multi-phase, um, you know, fluids. As long as it's turbulent, that's the key. We can do measurement. So the way it works is that every time there is a turbulent flow of uh, of uh, fluid or gas uh, inside the pipe, it causes eddies or vortices on the pipe. Uh, so those kind of micro dynamic strains, hood strains uh, uh, on, the, on the pipe that the fiber uh, can pick it up. It's so sensitive, can pick it up in the exterior of the pipe. Then that acoustic signal, uh, we change it to, um, uh, to frequency domain. And then we, from there, we measure the, uh, the fluid velocity. Uh, we've done measurements below one meter per second, which is uh, a lot of other technologies can't do. Uh, and we can also kind of do, depending on the vortex power, as well as the fluid uh, velocity, we can also kind of do a little bit of condition monitoring to see if there isn't a lot of settlement, for example, um, mm. within the pipe. So it's a technology that's also, as we learn more, we're developing it further. And uh, for Anglo American, uh, I mentioned they, they incorporated it. The one of, one of the key reasons uh, was for them to do water management and conserve water better, to manage overflows, underflows, and in real time, better see what the flow is in different regions of the plant. And the other criteria they were looking at it, it was because it was most cost effective, uh, just because with that one system, um, you're, you're, you can measure measure multiple points, 20, 25 points, and also low power. So they very they were very specific to say that it is in line with uh, with with uh, with their sustainability objectives, you know, initiatives of being environmentally robust, um, bringing technologies that are environmentally robust. So that's uh, that is on the fiber wrap side. There is a lot that I can go on uh, about, but uh, I don't want to bore your audience. Um, I don't know if so... you'll bore our audience. They're pretty interesting. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah.